Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Major Bob Mueller, and uh, I'm the new Salvation Army officer in Rochester. I moved here in July from, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, and thoroughly enjoying our time in Rochester. Hi, I'm Lisa Mueller from the Rochester Salvation Army, and um, my husband and I have been here since the beginning of July, and I oversee social services and programs and services, and then together my husband and I oversee the congregational work here. Last year, the Rotary Club of Rochester helped the Salvation Army raise $930,000. This year's goal is to make a million, which represents about 7.5% increase, and we're confident that with our Rotarians and this community that we can achieve that goal. The funds that we raise during the Christmas season um, is not used just for Christmas. It's also used year round and a lot of people don't realize that. But these funds enable the Salvation Army to be a place where people can access the basic needs of life, food, clothing, and shelter. It's also a place where people can find love, respect, and acceptance. It also helps us be a place where people can find hope, healing, and the heart of God. These funds help the Salvation Army be a place where people can find meaning and purpose by serving others. And uh, most importantly, uh, these funds help us um, help people embrace a better life than they've ever dreamed of. This goes towards towards programs all year round. Most people think of the things we do at Christmas time, our toy and joy shop, our meals, our, um, our adoption programs, but this is, um, this is gone all year round. We feed people every single day, Monday through Friday, and Monday night we do a dinner. We clothe, we um, provide basic needs and emergency services. So I don't think people um, maybe grasp that it goes for things outside Christmas and outside the season. Um, we are often asked, what would the Salvation Army do if it didn't have a, a Red Kettle campaign and how would we meet those needs? We wouldn't. It wouldn't be possible. In fact, we would have to reduce our programs and services by one third if we did not have a Christmas campaign. Bell ringing may be the most labor intensive fundraising effort known to mankind. Uh, this year we have about 6,000 volunteer hours available for bell ringing and we only have about one third of those hours filled. Uh, in addition to bell ringing, we're in need of uh, volunteer drivers to, to deliver and pick up kettles, as well as count the money. Plus we have um, Toy and Joy Shop and many other um, seasonal events in which we, we need uh, volunteers. So um, without volunteers, the Salvation Army could not pull off a successful campaign. We are a volunteer-driven army. You might have already heard that, heard that before. We don't hire people to do it, so obviously we're dependent on volunteers. There's so many stores, there's so many kettles, there's so many hours, and there's so many days between now and Christmas. And um, it's important for us as the organization, obviously, because we are dependent on these funds to um, carry our work on through the years. But it's also, I think it's important for the people who do the volunteering because it's a it's an easy way to give back. It's not real stressful. There's not a lot of training. And it has just, I think, an enormous feel-good moment with it when you're able to give back and know that a small amount of effort given can really do some amazing things. Volunteer Rotarians who bell ring, they have the potential of raising $100 an hour. And uh, I understand that the ro this Rotary Club has committed to ringing 66 hours this year. So that represents $6,600 that'll go toward um, our goal of making a million. So it is a significant impact to our efforts. I always say an unmanned kettle is an empty kettle. And let me say that one more time. An unmanned kettle is an empty kettle. That's how valuable volunteer bell ringers are to the Salvation Army. We may receive a, a random dollar or a handful of change without a bell ringer there, but once again, a volunteer bell ringer has the potential of raising $100 per hour. I'm often asked what these S's represent. Most people just assume that it's the Salvation Army, but when I attend a Rotary meeting, I say they, they represent service above self. And um, 
it, also, it has been said that uh, volunteers are lifeblood of every community and what the Salvation Army needs this Christmas season is an army of volunteers who will put service above self to help meet, meet the needs of this community. So I want to thank the Rotary Club of Rochester beforehand for all the hours that they're going to put in this Christmas season and I just pray that God will richly bless you for all of your time and your effort. Thank you so much, Rotarians. God bless.